Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today we're out in the greenhouse in order to do a species spotlight. Now if you're new here, each summer I move a bunch of fish and plants outside in order to grow the plants and breed the fish. And this summer's no different. Today we're going to talk about a really unique little floating plant that's useful both in my tubs, in my yard, in the greenhouse, as well as in our aquarium, and that's red root floater. So let's take a closer look and I'll tell you more about it. Now upon first glance, it's really obvious where this little South American floating plant gets its name. When in high light conditions, it gets a beautiful reddish hue, and if we flip it over, you'll see that the roots are very vibrant red. And similar to larger plants like water hyacinth, it does grow a pretty substantial root structure, which works quite well as a spawning mop for a lot of the fish that I work with outdoors. Now, in the greenhouse here, it gets extremely high light. And for the first time ever, I've actually been able to flower this plant. They get very, very delicate little white flowers right in the center of the plant, and I think they're really, really cute. Now, these are not flowering in my yard, nor have I ever flowered them in my um, home aquariums, but it's been very exciting this summer to see this. And if you follow me on Instagram, at Ms. Jinxed, you'll have noticed that I've been posting a lot of pictures of this stuff. Now, this stuff grows super, super, super fast, similar to that of duckweed or the water hyacinth that I've shown you in the past. I actually have some duckweed in this tank and I can, or in this tub and I can show you the size comparison. The red roof floater is quite a bit larger, especially when grown outdoors. Now when we move it into the aquarium, it tends to max out about an inch per leaf. Um, now if you want to try and keep this indoors, you really need some high light in order to get the good color and great growth of this plant. That being said, it will survive in lower light conditions, but it's generally more green with only a slight pink hue to these beautiful, beautiful roots that it gets. Um, this is one that I think is really well suited to all applications and all levels of hobbyists. Again, it's fast growing, fast to spread, and it is a wonderful surface for fish to breed in as well as for newly hatched eggs and fry to hide in. For this purpose, it is unparalleled out here in my tubs, and because of its fast growth, it also helps us to outcompete some of the algae that these highlight conditions are prone to. All in all, I just think this is a really neat little plant, and I am just so stoked that it's flowering so readily for me and doing so well out in here in my greenhouse. Now, as of yesterday, this was not flowering out here in my outdoor tubs, but as we take a closer look, you can see that there are quite a few small flowers out here on this red root floater. So I guess it just took a few weeks longer than it did in the greenhouse, and that's because the intensity out here in my summer tubs in my yard is not nearly that of what is in the greenhouse, but I'm super stoked to see that it's doing so well in these tubs also. Um, now, I don't have any of this in my fish room as of yet to show you guys, but I will be sure to move some in this fall in order to show you how it does inside an aquarium as well. Now, it's important to remember that most of my aquariums are low light and are not fertilized, so it certainly won't do as well in my aquariums as it would in a higher tech, higher light setup. As always, thank you guys for your continued support, especially in these recent most difficult months. I'm sure a lot of you are really curious as to how my family is doing, and I'll be sure to address that on my Thursday videos. I'm going to try really hard to not only maintain my schedule on Tuesday and Sunday, but also keep the educational focus, because let's face it, that's what my channel is supposed to be about. Um, as always, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and make sure you stop by my Facebook and my Instagram, where I'm providing a lot of additional content through images of the fish and shrimp breeding, as well as the cool plants that I've put in this summer. As always, let me know below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions. 